Today, I invited 100 Minecraft players onto this server and split them into three groups to try and survive against a zombie apocalypse. Will players be able to work together and survive their adventures through this city, or will the zombies kill them before the rescue helicopter arrives? Well, let's find out. So, as a group of survivors spawned in an old factory, they quickly realized this place had been breached by a horde of zombies. So, as a few survivors quickly started looting up, getting guns, food, and a few pieces of armor, the rest of the group spotted the hole in the factory wall and made a run for the city. Run through the door! Come on! We gotta get out of here, bro! We gotta get out through the door! Come on! Watch out! There's zombies out here! Oh my! Just down, just run, just run. Here, here, here. As these players ran from the factory, they were swarmed by the zombies and quickly realized how bad of a mistake they had made as three of the survivors were killed. Why did you guys run out? Oh, there's guns on the side. So as the survivors started spreading out, exploring through the city and trying to find any helpful resources, they weren't going to be alone. Because on the other side of this map was another bunker filled with 50 other survivors. This bunker had farms, weapons, and a science lab filled with infected zombies. Speed run, speed run, speed run down. I wouldn't go outside if I were you, to be honest. Where the zombies are? Where they are? Where they are? Uh, do you know how we get out? No, no, man. Unlike the factory, this bunker had only one way out, and that exit was surrounded by zombies, meaning if the survivors wanted to escape here, they'd have to send someone out as bait or slowly kill the zombies through the walls. Oh my gosh! Th there is a lot of them. Uh, start punching them. As these survivors up top started taking them down through the gap, down below, some players had spotted the lab and started to cause some chaos. You see the big door that says yeah, zombies behind, behind, don't open it? Don't go in there, don't go in there, don't open that door! Follow me, follow me. Follow me. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. Die, die! As the basement of the bunker was sent into chaos, back at the entrance, they had finally cleared out all of the zombies in their way, allowing them to break down the barricade and leave the bunker into the outside world. Go, 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 go. Every man and woman for herself. Finally was the rescuers. This group spawned in a military base far away from the city and quickly ran from their plane over towards the barracks to grab as much loot as possible. Hey, stick together, stick together, stick together, yeah, stick, stick together, together, guys. Together. Come on. Oh, I found loot! I found so much loot! I've got pistols! Inside, they found shotguns and armor, which they'd have to use over the next five Minecraft days to protect themselves and the survivors from the zombies. But as they tried to leave this place, they realized they had one big problem. This military base only had one entrance, meaning if they wanted to escape this camp and head towards the city, they'd have to go through this tunnel, which of course was filled with zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Um, what's our plan? I'm not doing that. That's not happening. Hey guys, I have a few friends. Why is he leading them all? Come on. After realizing they wouldn't be able to just walk down the tunnel, Soccer51x took one for the team and tried to distract the zombies to allow the other rescuers to escape. Guys, I'm gonna distract them. Don't block me in. I'm distracting them. Hey, hey, hey! I'm distracting them. I need you all to go. As they started entering through the tunnel, the military base was flooded with zombies. Oh my god, who let them in? Who we'll let them in? Guys, you're so yeah, stupid. I need food. They let in all the zombies, so we have a huge problem. <laughs> They're breaking uh -oh. down the door. They're run, breaking. Run, run. Go in this way. They're everywhere. With this idea clearly failing, they put the base back on lockdown as they had to take care of the zombies inside. They're coming from here. Who opened something? Dude, people are so dumb. They messed oh the freaking my exit god. up. Oh my god. So as the rescuers continued fighting the zombies that had walked into their base, Back over at the survivors group, things were looking much better as they had left all of their bunkers and now were making their way through the city looking for loot to help them take down the zombies. Come up! Woo! Okay, let's go, let's yo, go, yo, come, yo. On, come on, come on, let's come go, on, come on! Oh, I guess this will help a little bit. As they explored, a small group led by a survivor called Fuego Wave formed as he shared his plans on how he was going to survive through this apocalypse. No, 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 guys. Okay, so I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm going to the main city and I'm gonna go on a skyscraper, and that's why I'm collecting dirt blocks and bucks of water so we can just oh, build yeah, it up top. Idea, yeah. And as this group started to explore the city, they came across a small farm that had a bunch of food, which was something a lot of the other survivors were starting to struggle with. So this gave them a huge advantage. But things were only going to get worse for the survivors, as nighttime started to roll around, meaning players out in the city were going to have a lot more zombies to deal with. Guys, there's, yeah. there's a lot of zombies down there. 
Okay, it's getting dark, and I assume that at night time, it's not gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna get worse at night. So as the zombies started to swarm the streets, players had to quickly find shelter, which saw some survivors dive down below into the sewers. Guys, guys, get down, get underground here. We got an underground passage. Oh. Everyone underground, get everyone underground. Sadly for them, not all of their members were able to make it down as they were killed by the zombies above as they tried to get in. That was one of our guys. As he died, no. Our guys are dead. That's time to just go. But as the survivors took cover in the sewers, this place wasn't as safe as they thought as the zombies made their way in and managed to kill another survivor before he could escape. Oh, flip. Help! As these survivors tried their best to escape the sewers safely, the rest of the survivors went for an opposite approach and took to high ground to take cover from the zombies. But some of the survivors weren't lucky enough to escape in time and were caught down below. Oh uh, my gosh, there's someone right there and there's like 20 zombies chasing them. Uh oh. Oh, oh man, I just, we just witnessed the murder. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, good night, guys. You'll get in this house, bro. Get in this house. No, you're running the wrong way. Oh, he just died. Rip. And a few players that were still nearby the original bunker had also been caught. With more than 10 of the survivors already dead before day one had even finished, some players were already being selfish, risking other people's lives to make sure that they stayed alive. Wow, thanks. Oh, oh. Back at the military base, the rescuers were still struggling to escape through the tunnel into the city, meaning the survivors were going to have to hold out for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. can't do this right now. We need more people. Just run. It has an iron sword. Hush. The baby zombie has oh. an iron sword. <laughs> I'm hiding. Oh. <laughs> Eventually, they decided to kill the zombies from behind their gate, allowing them to finally run through the tunnel and start exploring the city. And as a few of them ventured out, they quickly stumbled across the farm that a few survivors had been camping out at overnight, allowing them to not only grab some food for themselves, but also start helping the survivors to eventually escape. Oh my god, look at the tower! Oh, they're all up there, what the- that's where our team was. But it seemed even though the survivors needed the rescuers to escape from this apocalypse, the survivors didn't fully trust them. What if they want to kill us? I don't have it. They Why would they want to kill, kill us? Rescuers. The rescuers. You never know. Even with the doubts, the survivors had no choice but to invite them up the tower to make sure that they all made it through the night. Guys, 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 it's safety up here, up here, come up here, up here, up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all are safe up here. So as these groups joined together at the top of this tower, they could see the military base entrance, which gave them hope that soon enough, more rescuers would come charging out to save them. Meanwhile, two other survivors called Casual Kano and Pure Fudge had taken refuge on a factory roof, and whilst up here, spotted one of only three mines in this entire city, meaning if they were able to get inside, this would allow them to mine up enough diamonds, iron, and gold for them to easily survive through this apocalypse. Is that a mine? That's a mine. Okay, There's I see yours as well, I see coal. Okay, we need to go down there. Should we just jump down? I, I, I feel like it's a death wish, but yeah, let's go. As they made a run for the mines, zombies came from all directions, forcing them to take cover on the roof of a van until the coast was clear. Yeah, we're in a situation here. This is the safest place we could be, as long as we're killing them. And after finding another survivor who joined them in their efforts to enter the cave, they all worked together to take down the zombies surrounding them, and then made a run for the entrance. Let's, let's go mining, I say. Okay, yeah, let's go into the mine. Yeah, yeah, no, this is the play, that's the play, that's the play. Oh, f maybe that's not the play. Despite the zombies, they knew the reward of entering these mines would easily outweigh the risk, so they made a run for the entrance and blocked it off. Oh, just in time. But once they were inside, they realized they had a new problem. How are we gonna get stone? I didn't think about that. I thought there'd be stone in the mine. This mine had no stone inside, as the walls were made up of purely andesite. Meaning if they wanted to mine any of the resources in here, they'd have to leave the mine once again to go outside and grab stone. But instead of leaving the way they came in, they decided to start mining up through the roof of the mines hoping to eventually strike some stone. Which luckily for them, happened after a few minutes of mining. Oh, we got stone. So now okay, we, go back we down. can go. We could go back down now if we really want. So with the pickaxes available to gather the resources down below, this group came up with a plan. I'm totally fine with staying here, making like a small mini base thing, putting a load of torches down, and you guys come back. I'll, I'll set up furnaces and stuff as well. Sounds like a plan. 
With the plan in mind, these guys got to work, clearing out the mines of everything, allowing them to get enough diamonds and iron for full armor, weapons, and tools. I think I got all the diamonds. Lovely. That was that was a good that was a good trip. Back at the surface, it was still nighttime, meaning for the most part, all survivors were still taking cover from the zombies, which brought the players a little bit of time to relax. I think I just saw a zombie wearing a thong. How? Huh? Where? Where? I need to see this. I need to inspect it for sp scientific purposes. Oh, f that. Ew, nasty. As these guys stayed up this tower, some of the survivors were risking their life as they continued to explore the city, being attacked by zombies from everywhere. Get it! What you mean? Up, 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 up the vines, up the vines. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, God! God. <laughs> I'm not going in there! Oh my god, this is so scary. In the hopes of finding more survivors, these two continued walking through the streets of the city and eventually came across the hospital. What's this sign say? Don't go to the hospital. Of course, these guys ignored the sign and walked towards the entrance of the most dangerous building in the entire city, the hospital. This building was the origin point of the zombie apocalypse, meaning on each floor of this building was hundreds of zombies ready to kill anyone that came inside. But as previously mentioned, with great risk comes great reward, and inside of this hospital was hundreds of zombie cures which could be used to bring dead teammates back to life after they died to a zombie. So as expected, once these survivors entered the hospital, they realized how big of a mistake they had made and instantly broke out of a window to try and escape. Whilst this had been happening at the hospital, back at the farm, the survivors that had taken cover up the tower were convinced by one of the rescuers called Iso Shooter that somehow the hospital was a safer place to be than the farm, causing almost all of them to leave the farm in the middle of the night to start making their way through the city towards the hospital. Everybody run with the trees. Don't leave. I'll stay behind. Okay, everybody. As anyone could have expected, this idea was horrible and almost got all of the survivors in this group killed as they ran through the streets of the city with no protection trying to avoid the hordes of zombies chasing after them. Yo, rescuer, screw them, just come, come on. We can't leave anyone behind, what are you talking? Even though the rescuer was trying his best, his attitude quickly had to change as some of the people weren't keeping up with the rest of the group. I, should we leave that guy behind? He's not coming. He's slowing us down. He's slowing us down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go. <laughs> and after running through the city all night trying to find the hospital, these survivors were starting to lose their patience with the rescuer. Are you false leading us, Mr. Rescuer? The problem is, I don't know where we're going. What? Bro, I don't know where. Out. Don't spread out. This entire time, we've been following you around and you don't know where we're going. So as the sun started to rise for day two, these players were finally able to safely navigate through the streets and made their way to the hospital somehow, without losing any players. But once they arrived, they realized straight away that ISO Shooter was wrong, and this hospital was far more dangerous than the farm that they were originally at. Listen here, Rescuer. Listen here, Rescuer, man. Listen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look me in the eyes. I'm looking. What the hell are you doing leading these people to their deaths? Should we get them back, or should we just leave them? I say, listen, <laughs> survival of the fittest, uh, let's go. <laughs> we'll leave it behind. <laughs> I don't got time for this. My yeah, life is not worth in, dying in. for. As they ran from the hospital, leaving part of their group behind, they made their way back towards the farm, and to their surprise, a group of players had already started turning this place into a safe zone. Hey, there's zombies coming here. Hey, Lock it off, don't let any more in. Make it so they can't get in. You guys want food? All right, all right, we need to make this farm safe. Bro. Secure this, uh, secure that farmland over there. Make that a safe house. With it now being daytime, this was the perfect opportunity for players to continue exploring the city safely to try and find any helpful resources in the buildings before night rolled around again. But just because it was daytime, it didn't mean all the players were safe on their adventures. Oh, here we go. That looks kind of lootable. Dude, can I jump down the vines? Well, he said, yeah. Oh, oh sh I guess it's you and I against the world. And as these players died, a few minutes later, another survivor who was all alone walked by and found the remains of what had happened here. What? So people actually died here. Hopefully they didn't die from fall damage like right there. <laughs> Whilst all of this had been happening in the city, 
Back at the military base, a bunch of rescuers and a few survivors had decided to set up here. Knowing that there was only one way in and one way out through the tunnel, this place would be much easier to hold against the zombies than anywhere else. And they made this choice at the perfect time, since as the exploration phase finally came to an end, the first official world event took place. Zombie mutation. All zombies had now mutated, making them stronger, faster, and more frequent throughout the city, meaning the players at the military base had made a great choice setting up here. And for those in the city, it was about to get tough. So with daylight being limited, the rescuers headed back out into the city to gather some more survivors, as the rest of the group stayed back at the farm gathering food and building up the protection around here. Do we go adventuring, Hutch? Yeah, I'll come with We're trying to save me. people, bring them back here. After leaving the farm and working their way through the city, they quickly found some of the survivors that had been left behind earlier on by ISO Shooter, so directed them back towards the farm as they continued searching for more. There's a hospital, we could probably find medical supplies in there. Although all the people that ever go into a hospital die, so let's go. Soccer51x and iHutch had no idea how bad it was inside of the hospital, so they walked towards it to check it out, hoping for the best. Let's go find the entrance, because I mean, whatever whatever goes wrong when you walk in the front door of the hospital. As they entered, they quickly realized what they had got themselves into, as zombies started appearing from everywhere. Hutch, 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 get out of there, get out of there, just run, just run. Even though this place was filled with zombies, and they were barely able to even pass the first floor, Sokka seemed confident that he would be able to clear this place out, and find all of the medical supplies within that would be very helpful later on. I say we just slowly start to reclaim the hospital. Let's barricade entrances we don't want to go into. But as they started making their way through the hospital, they were distracted after spotting some survivors just outside. There's survivors, survivors, survivors! Hey, 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 survivors! Survivors, survivors, come with us, come with us, come with us, we gotta get out of here! These guys told Sokka what had happened earlier on at the hospital, and how some players had climbed the vines on the side to take cover on the roof. So Sokka went up the vines to speak to the survivors above. But it seemed some of them weren't interested in him rescuing them. Hey, how's it going? Um, we have a camp uh, with food and such being set up. We are trying to gather as many people because the zombies are only get stronger from here and they're going to be able to break blocks. So we're going to need to be able to defend ourselves eventually. Soccer, we, let's, let's, uh, let us talk this out. Talk this out? I'm, I'm here to rescue you, what do you mean talk this out? With darkness starting to take over the city once again as night fell, Sokka knew he had to convince these guys quickly, or he was going to risk dying on his way home. Hey, Gabriel, we have a camp. We're saving people, but it's nighttime, so either we need to light this up, or we need to get out of here. Despite offering to protect and provide shelter to these survivors, they just didn't want to leave the hospital, so Sokka had no choice but to leave them behind. Okay, we just need to go, start running. Yeah, we're pretty safe up here. It's like, we need to go now, but no, we're actually probably the safest spot in the entire map. So as Sokka and a few survivors left the hospital and made it back to the farm camp, this place was starting to develop really well as more people kept showing up to take shelter from the zombies in the night, whilst those at the military base were still also keeping safe. Or at least they thought. Oh my Mother. god. Oh, guys, no. we got a little bit of a breach in the wall. Guys, we got a little bit of a breach in the wall. I repeat. <laughs> the military base that was once only accessible through the tunnel had been blown into by the mutated zombies, allowing hundreds of them to start making their way through the fences towards their camp. Oh my god, everyone grab as much food everyone. as you can and run for your life. Up. But as this group tried to escape through the tunnel, they quickly realized that they were blocked off by the zombies once again, giving them no option but to hold position and fight back. Fall back, guys. As more and more zombies flooded into the base, the survivors took cover on the roof of their building, as one of the rescuers called Shadow88 took one for the team and led the zombies in a loop trying to kill them. Yeah, just circle around the pole. Circle around the pole, they'll all die in the lava. These two players worked together, trying to take down the zombies inside their walls, as the rest of the team looked on with no faith in their teammates down below. Oh yeah, oh that rescuer is done for. I'm gonna let you guys know that right now. Shadow? Oh, he's chilling, bro. Oh no, who is that? He's been at this shit for like 10 minutes. Kill him like that. Really good, That's really good. Oh, oh no! Now as the night time had once again cleared, back at the farm camp, 
the rescuers took this opportunity to leave their camp to venture into the city to try and find some of the remaining survivors that were still out exploring all alone. But as Soccer51x told the survivors in this camp to stay back for their own safety, not all of them seemed on board with his plans. Everyone stay here, stay here, we will go back, we will be back. We're going to rescue more survivors. Stay back, go back, go back. What? I want, I, bro, this is boring. This is boring. Why am I staying back in here? No, go back, go back. We are not all leaving, go back. Dude, this is gonna be boring. I want, I want death and chaos. We're just leaving, we're leaving. If they follow us, they can die. You'd think it wouldn't take extreme threats of violence to get people to do the safest thing. After threatening to kill the survivors, the rescuers left them behind at the farm and started making their way through the city back towards the hospital to try and convince the survivors that they left behind last night to move with them to their farm. But as they made their way towards the entrance of the hospital, they spotted a huge horde of zombies charging from the entrance. Okay, we're, we're gonna do this, boys. We're yeah, doing this. Oh, there's a, uh... Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, okay. For Narnia! Ah, oh, the child was a shovel! Never mind! It was, it was a good, it was a good valiant charge until the zombies had shovels. As the rescuers were stranded on the bridge, the survivors they came to rescue spotted them down below. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Yeah. Holy. Okay. Yeah. What is going on there? Holy. <laughs> this is so dangerous. We just fought like 600 zombies to get here. You guys, you guys need to leave. Right, Follow us. Right. No, no. We're pretty much safe up there. No, you don't understand. Come with us. You don't understand what's gonna happen. We we need we need to get the frick out of the city. Follow us. We need to get out of here. We're still we're still fighting zombies. After convincing a few, but not all of them, to join them back at the farm, it seemed these weren't the only survivors that wanted to go against the words of the rescuers. As the survivors back at the farm that wanted to leave earlier on had saw their opportunity to start exploring now that the rescuers had left. And after a few minutes, a group of survivors spotted a nearby mine shaft, so went in to check it out. I want to check out my mind with you guys since you're strong now. Where are you guys going? You have to stay here. Hey, get back inside the walls. It's safe. There's a bunch of zombies heading your way. Get back inside. As these survivors made their way into the mine shaft, they were able to find loot, ores, and most importantly, had a safe space to talk between themselves about what was happening back at the farm. The rescuers don't want us helping them at the hospital and threatening. We're gonna jump the fucking rescuers. I don't, I don't like them. I mean, to be honest, they really couldn't do anything against me. I could probably kill them all. With a plan in mind about how they were going to get back at the rescuers for taking away their freedom, the survivors started making their way to the exit of the mines. But they weren't going to be able to escape here easily, as a horde of zombies started making its way towards the entrance, blocking them in. Oh no! Oh crap! Oh no! Shoot oh, him with God. your guns! Oh, no. Shoot him with your guns then! Who put lava? Someone put lava! What the hell has happened, guys? What have you done? Right, whoever said, yeah, I've got guns, shoot him with them then. Shoot the zombies. We're doing that, man. Oh, no! <laughs> this is guys, bad. This is really bad. Oh, no, 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 no! Bobby! <laughs> These survivors stood no chance as the zombies took over this mineshaft, killing almost everyone inside. No, Kozu's dead. As it seemed most groups were starting to fall apart with players disobeying the rules and others just refusing to compromise, way on the other side of the city was a small group of players that had stuck together since the start of the apocalypse, and they had been slowly working their way through the city, finding factories, malls, and vaults filled with loot to share between their three-man group. But as they continued to explore, they got greedy, thinking they could continue on their streak of success by finding more loot, which eventually caught up to them as they entered another building. Ah, guys, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, dead, 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 dead. No! We gotta get out, we gotta get out. Run, 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 run. No, poor Dimitri. No. Bro, we gotta get out of this mall. Oh my god. There's like 50 zombies over there. Oh my god, do you see them? Uh, All lined Harry? up. After being forced to flee them all, this now two-man team fled the city after grabbing as many valuables as they could, and eventually stumbled across the farm base on the edge of the city. There's players! Oh, there's Yo, there's a ton fight. of players. Hey. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they were given a very warm welcome, before one of the rescuers called John started spreading some news around the farm that didn't seem very good for the survivors. We need to build a base here. We're, there's no helicopter coming. Yeah, I was yeah. explaining Let's to the other base. 
that we are playing Christ. We didn't have any loot at all from the beginning. We had to scavenge ourselves. I don't think oh. there's a helicopter coming. <laughs> but as these guys all started to worry about their chances of actually being able to escape the city, a supply crate was announced in chat, which gave the survivors a boost of hope. Where's where's the survivors bunker? Wait, there's a supply crate. Drop that supply Where's the bunker? Where's the bunker? Where's the bunker? I'm not going out there, no. Let's go, let's go. I know where I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Let's go, let's go. As the survivors ran from the farm trying to locate the supply crate, they would have to be quick. Because as the sun started to set over the city once again, the next world event was about to take place. A blood moon. During this phase, zombies are quicker, stronger, and way more common than usual. Meaning if any players were out in the city, death would be almost guaranteed. I don't think we should be walking around outside. I think we need to get up above all of this. Just as the zombies started to take over the city, the group from the farm camp had finally made their way over towards the supply crate that had been dropped off a few minutes earlier. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna survive. Is this the supply drop? Is this the crate? Yeah, it is. Oh, bandages. Yeah, what's this? And a shotgun. Oh, there's like six shotguns. What the hell? Let's leave here Let's before the others up. come and see that we have all the loot. Let's pull up. Let's pull up. Let's pull up. Let's yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. Good point. After gathering the resources from inside, these players started making their way back home to prepare for the blood moon, as they knew being in the city was a bad idea. But not everyone decided to flee the city, because there was one group that had actually been living at the top of a skyscraper in the middle of the city that nobody had seen during this entire apocalypse. After they decided to lock themselves at the top of the building and create a club. Yeah, it's a pretty good trip. Uh, oh my, this is awesome. Indeed. Despite living in the middle of the city, these three survivors had barricaded themselves in at the top of this building and made sure to block off all the windows, making it almost impossible for any zombies to get up to them, allowing them to put all of their efforts towards building a club rather than trying to have to survive. Dude, imagine a video. Everyone's just like, oh, like everyone's surviving and they're trying their best. And then we're just voting a club. Whilst these guys stayed safe up here during the Blood Moon, I want to take this chance to thank MC Pro Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you want to host a server for an event like this with a bunch of your own friends, check out the link in the description and use code SWORD4000 for 20% off any server plan. Now, as these guys continue to take cover up this tower, some survivors decided their safe place would be the hospital. Okay, let's speed run to the hospital. Come on, let's go. Oh my god, they're all rushing into the hospital. Look at them. They're like rats. What in the world is going on here? Oh my god, look uh, at all the zombies okay, rushing out. Okay, okay let's, let's go to the top of the hill. After realizing there was no chance of getting to the roof of this place, these survivors turned around and ran back into the forest to find somewhere else to take cover. And after running for a while, they came across the tunnel to the military-based civilization that had been rebuilding their camp for the last 30 minutes after their zombie invasion earlier on. Oh my god. Oh, there. these are the people. That's what, smart. what in the world? Guys, are you back from the hospital? Common. Hello. You got a shotgun? Yes, we have a shotgun. Holy moly. You made trenches? Yeah, look, look. Do you see where you had to jump over? Yeah, yeah. this is literally society. Whilst this small civilization started to grow and build up defenses, the new players quickly realized that the people living here had no idea how bad it really was for everybody else in the city on the other side of the tunnel. Th these people have no idea of the world outside. But for those that were still in the city, they held position wherever they took cover, even though it seemed a few people wanted to risk leaving. What are we doing here, bro? Are we not gonna go back to the field? Uh, during a blood moon? You could try. Yeah. So whilst everyone stayed safe, Back over at the mines, the small group from earlier on that had blocked themselves in and mined up all of the resources from this mine shaft spotted a rescuer called John Fortnite at the entrance of the mines. So took him into their camp and used this opportunity to figure out what was going on up at the surface. John, can I ask you, what way are you guys planning to rescue us and get us out of here? We, we honestly have no clue what's going on, so we've just been building up at the farm outside the military outpost. Right, right, okay. Well, let's put it this way. As long as we keep John alive, we can still win this. Technically, yeah. As these guys planned to stick together in the mines, back on the surface, most players had survived through the Blood Moon as the sun started to rise once again, and the camp building phase resumed, allowing the players that were stranded on the hospital roof to make their way down to the floor back over towards the farm, whilst a few players at the military base 
also took this opportunity to go out through the tunnel to try and find the other civilization. There's another camp there. Yeah, but the zombies are extra speedy now. Oh, well, I guess we're going to the other camp. As they left their current base behind, they quickly realized that the farm camp was less than 100 blocks from the tunnel, so they went over to check it out. But this place wasn't in a great condition, with the aftermath of the Blood Moon still being dealt with by the players inside. Oh, oh yeah, outside, 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 the walls! Oh, no, no. Shoot him, no, no. shoot him. Oh. Be careful. They're, they're Take him around. Pew, 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 pew. This is outrageous. They're everywhere. Oh, They've surrounded the base. They're actually everywhere. Look in the tree line. Oh, they're, in, they're, in, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. They're in, they're in. Oh, someone else just died. Oh, just died. oh <laughs> yeah, look at that. Die, look at that, look at that, look, 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 over there. Wait, 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 I have a lava bucket, I have a lava bucket, I got a lava bucket. Yeah! But as these players were killing the zombies on the outside of their walls, Sokka spotted one of his teammates trying to sabotage their team. Don't, why are you breaking? No, Seb! Seb's trying to kill us, Seb's trying to kill us. Kill Seb, kill Seb, kill Seb. Why'd you kill him? He was breaking, he was letting the zombies why, in. Oh. Why, are, why are so many survivors just wanting to basically commit suicide? No, that was, that was one of us. Yo, that was a rescuer. Guys. Yeah. Wait, that was a rescuer doing that? Yeah. What the? People, they've also been placing sides like start revolting and like, bro. Someone's trying to start a revolt. Should be careful though. Yeah. And as the survivors from the military base entered, they quickly realized that this place was chaos. Why? Right, in case you were all wondering, we just killed that guy because I watched him break the fence and let 20 zombies into the base. Respe wow. Respectable. Look very based. Guys, we need to kill every single goddamn rescuer there is. Why? They're just, they're just trying to kill us, bro. We've we've seen things that no one else has seen. I don't know. I don't trust these guys that much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit uncertain. You guys are a lot more good than us. Okay. Come on, we should either head back. Or should I mean, yeah, we should we should go bit. back. Yeah. After being here for not even ten minutes, Common Hat. Modern Adventurer and Mike Syke all decided to leave before this place got any worse and went straight back to the military base to tell their group about what was going on here. Many of you know we've come back. There's a soccer's got his own base over there. And yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's chaos. It's chaos. chaos. It's absolutely yeah, chaos. It's and back at the farm, other players were starting to lose faith in soccer's leadership after he had killed Seb earlier on. Uh. The team's falling apart. What just what just happened? But as this entire team was about to crumble, the zombie of a player from their team that died outside of the mines earlier on walked into the base, bringing everyone together as they tried their best to trap the zombie and use one of the zombie cures that was found in the hospital earlier on. Wait, zombie villager? Zombie villager. Yo, zombie kill villager! Kill him, kill him, kill him! Don't kill him, don't kill him! Don't kill him, don't kill him! Get him into this hole, get him into this hole, get him into this hole! Get him into this hole. <laughs> Luckily, these guys were able to trap the zombie in a hole, and after using their one and only zombie cure, Fuego Wave, who was planning on killing the rescuers earlier on before dying, had been brought back to life by the very people he wanted dead. I'm Fuego! Wait, get him out of the hole! Get him out of the hole! Get him out of the hole! Get out, Fuego, Fuego, get out! With their first player cured, the survivors on this team were given a huge boost of encouragement and wanted to make the most of their remaining time, whether it be long or short. So they grouped up as Faction's Frame delivered a speech. I say we take it. Fuego, Fuego, you've been given another chance of life. Do you want to live your life peacefully like an idiot on a farm or do you want to go and kill some zombies? Let's kill some zombies! Let's go! With no planning, this group of players rushed from the farm towards the hospital in the hopes of finding more cures. But as expected, this was never going to end well. We need to protect them. We need to protect the survivors. We need to protect the survivors. As they ran through the doors of the hospital, they stuck by each other's sides as they made their way through floor by floor, looking for the zombie cures that they decided to rename. Medicine. Medicine. Get the drugs, get the drugs, get the drugs. Drugs, 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 drugs. I got drugs, 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 drugs. Let's go. Oh, no drugs. But after moving through the hospital, they realized they had been cornered by the zombies as they moved up and their exits were blocked. Do not go up the stairs. There's 50 people. Elemental run, run. <laughs> Do not go up the no, stairs. No, you fall! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Survival, please. With almost their entire group dead, 
The players that had set up on top of the hospital had no choice but to go against their one rule and enter the hospital again to go and save them. Yo, you should not go down, bro. Don't go down. I think we gotta go down and just see if we see somebody and we just bring him into the elevator when we see them. Come here, come here. It's me, ISO. Come here. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up. After somehow getting two of the survivors out of the hospital alive, they fled to the roof for safety, as they realized the next world event had already started. The apocalypse. During this phase, zombies were now at their strongest, were able to climb and explode, which was quickly figured out by one of the survivors below the hospital. Huh? Why did I blow up? And he wasn't the only one. Join! Join! What? Back at the military base, they were dealing with a few zombies as well. These zombies don't seem that tough. Oh! Uh, they, they do a lot of damage, holy moly. As it seemed this place was going to crumble after they lost five players in three minutes, two of the survivors decided to make a run for the tunnel, claiming they knew the location of a safe bunker inside of the city. Uh, apparently, those two guys are there running. They know of, of a vault location. I need ammo. Need ammo, please. Oh! Yeah, that was the guy. Oh my god, they're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. Back up, back up, back up, back up. They're coming in, they're coming in. Back up, back up, back up, back up. They're getting in, they're getting in. They're in the building. If all goes bad, we just sky bridge. Yeah. Oh, that's, that guy's got the right idea. Back over at the farm, the zombies had also breached their fences, causing the players left here to take cover on the roof of a house as they tried to survive. Oh my god, this is crazy. This this is crazy. Guys, go. Break the bridge. Break the bridge. We gotta break the bridge. Uh, just so you know, they can basically- Oh my gosh! They can do what? Did you see that one jump up like 20 blocks? They can jump higher than the roof. No way. These players had to start working together to combat the zombies. So Ihutch went down and used himself as bait whilst the others got to work. Wait, I'm leading them away. I'll lead them away. I'll lead them away. Patch the hole. Patch the hole. As players all over the city fought their way through the apocalypse, some players started putting their lives on the line, trying to trap the zombies of the dead players in the hopes of curing them later on. But as they started to ask around for cures, nobody seemed to have any, which some of the rescuers didn't believe after these survivors had been at the hospital during the entire event. Sorry, we, don't, we don't have any cure. We oh. tried to save our friend Min. He he died. They're they're lying yeah. about cures. They they do have. We uh, I think they're hiding a cure. Yeah. We don't have any. Oh no. <laughs> we have no cures, bro. Like I wish I did. I only have an empty bucket. So as conflict started to grow between the groups once again, the apocalypse came to an end and the next phase had started as a supply crate was dropped into the world. Inside of the crate was the resources for campfires and flares to be used on any helipad to call in the rescue helicopter. And as players rushed off the roof of the hospital to start running through the city to find this crate, they had no idea the crate had been dropped directly in the center of their helipad on the hospital roof. So as they ran off into the distance, a few players on the roof spotted the drop and followed the instructions inside. Survivors, we will be back soon. Use these resources to clear out the location for us to land our helicopter. Use the campfires to light it up so we can see. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Oh, so we get, we, so we win, we win. Once they realized what they had to do, they started announcing in chat that they had found the drop and that the helicopter would be coming to the roof of the hospital after they followed the instructions and cleared out the helipad up top. But the players at the military base that were still being surrounded by the zombies realized they were going to struggle to make it to the hospital in time. The hospital. Guys, the helicopter is yeah, going to the hit. hospital. How are we going to get there? There's so many zombies. I don't know, we're surrounded. Wait, wait. We need to use the tunnel. We have to go for the tunnel. With no choice but to leave this place behind, they took their chances and ran for the tunnel. Run, everybody, everybody, let's run. go, everybody, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, 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 now. I got a sword, shield, and some guns and one ammo. I love the sound of that. As the players on the hospital roof broadcasted the location to everyone on the server telling them to get here in time for the escape helicopter, it seemed not everybody wanted to leave. Those in need of shelter, we are located at the roof of the hospital. We probably, no. You know what, F them, we're not going to their safety camp. But after realizing that the helicopter was going to leave with or without them when it arrived, they quickly changed their minds and finally left their cave to make their way over. Yeah. Let's go, we just Let's gotta go. go. 
I know where it is. I know where it is. Just follow me. And on their way across the bridge, they stumbled across another group of survivors that were making their way to the hospital as well. Hiya. Let's go. Another team. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Where are we going? What are we doing? We're going to the hospital right now because we heard they have a helicopter. But back at the hospital, all of the players arriving weren't going to get to the roof easily as zombies were flooding the entrance, blocking the way up. That's a lot of zombies. There's a lot of zombies there. So instead, the survivors started bridging across to the vines on the side of the hospital in the hopes of climbing their way to the top, which didn't end very well. One block at a time. Whoa, yo, yo, everyone move. Go, get break. Don't break the vines. Don't break the vines. No! With more survivors arriving at the hospital as time passed, this place was starting to get very chaotic. There's the hospital. The Let's way. go, 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 go. All the way. And as the hospital roof got busier and busier, players started to wonder if the helicopter would even have enough space for all of them, which started some controversy. Guys, listen. I don't think all of us can fit on the heli. Wait, look at me. Oh. What's That's actually good. underneath? <gasps> um, okay. okay, so I overheard, like, ISO speaking with someone about how there isn't enough room on a helicopter, and then he pulled out TNT. Uh, Thank you, Chang. So, 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 so what's the saying? plan? I mean, the four of us are getting out, that's what I know. As word broke out amongst players on the roof, people started to prepare backup plans. I, I heard that the helicopter's not gonna have enough space on it, so... Yeah, th there's speculation that that might be a thing, but uh, if that happens, I'm just gonna begin, you know, order. But before the helicopter arrived, Common Hat made a very valid point about their campfire placement. Uh, why, why would you put the campfires in the middle of the landing area? Who cares, bro? It's clear and visible. Like, okay, but it's not clear. There's campfires. So after tearing down the campfires and replacing them on the edges, it seemed almost everyone that was alive was on the roof of the hospital, perfectly in time for the helicopter to arrive. The helicopter's here! Go, 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 go! As the survivors and rescuers rushed onto the escape helicopter to secure their spot, as predicted, someone was planning on blowing it up. No one can hear me right now, but I've got TNT. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some bad things. I'm gonna kill all these people. I don't trust this helicopter, I'll be honest with you, coach. Block it off. I am the captain now. I'm the captain now. Oh, 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 oh Jesus. Stop hitting, stop hitting. Oh, my goodness, oh no. I knew it, I am a genius. I can't believe this. I am a genius. How did you know? I am a genius. This is this is a classic trope in post-apocalyptic movies. After a hugely successful sabotage, six survivors and three rescuers were killed in the helicopter explosion, caused by not ISO shooter, but a player called Avoma that wanted revenge against the survivors that had left him all alone earlier on after he was hit with a potion and lost in the city. Help. 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 Bro, no, 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 don't leave me, don't do this. Even though Avoma blew up the helicopter, players still started to blame ISO Shooter as he was originally going to blow it up himself. What, what did happened? I tell you? What just happened? ISO, you It wasn't me, what the ISO, you got the TNT. I still have it in TNT, it wasn't me. And now, with only 10 rescuers and 17 survivors remaining, they had to come up with a plan to escape as this helicopter was destroyed. And they quickly made the choice to head back to the military base and escape with the backup helicopter before the five minute timer ran out and it left. This meant all 27 remaining players would have to travel through the city at night and make their way through the tunnel to the military base if they wanted to survive. Rescuers count. I know what it is. Let's go boys. This might be it ahead. It looks big. It looks like it could be a rescuers camp. Who knows? Head across the bridge, head across the bridge. Yeah, this way a whole bunch. We're on the right we're on the right path. We just go this way. It's straight on. It's straight on. As expected, not everyone was able to make it to the escape helicopter alive. So few players were caught short when trying to escape from the zombies. Yeah, yeah, it's over here, it's this way. Bill, 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 come on, come on. Bro, move! Oh, No! <laughs> Guys, I'm on half a heart. Help! Help! Don't run away! What the f- Now, with the survivors down to 15 players and the rescuers down to 8, 
people started diving into the helicopter as quick as they could, hoping this time it wouldn't blow up as they watched their teammates dying outside only moments away from escaping. Get in! Block everything off! Block Get it in! As the timer ran out, the helicopter disappeared and 15 players were transported out of the city to safety as the remaining survivors and rescuers that missed the helicopter were killed. Over the past five Minecraft days, these players had worked together to survive and even though they had lost a few friends along the way, they could now relax as they had successfully survived the Minecraft zombie apocalypse experiment.